Hello friends, welcome to my channel World of Physical Chemistry. In this video, we are going to discuss thermodynamic terms that is the system and surroundings and the types of the system. As a chemist, we are interested in chemical reactions and the energy changes accompanying between them. For this, we have to need to discuss certain thermodynamic terms that is the system and surrounding. Okay, now let us discuss what do we mean by the term system and surrounding system. From the universe, for the purpose of thermodynamic study, we select a certain portion, certain region. That portion we call as a system. That is simply, we define as system as the portion of the universe which is selected only for the purpose of thermodynamic study. It is called as a system. Then what do we mean by the surroundings? That is as shown in the figure, the part other than the system is called as the surroundings. That is we can define surrounding as the remaining portion of the universe other than the system is called as a surroundings. Now question arises which part separated out the system from the surroundings? The answer is simple. It is a boundary. That is boundary is separated out the system from surroundings. Okay. Now what do you mean by the boundary? The boundary it may be a real or it may be an imaginary that is the surface or the part which is a real or imaginary which separating the system from surrounding is called as a boundary. In the figure all these terms are shown from the universe for the thermodynamic purpose this particular region particular portion is selected for the thermodynamic study therefore we call as a system. Why? Other than this part from the universe, it is called as a surroundings and both this system and surrounding they are separated with boundary. Now, according to thermodynamics, we can define universe as system plus surroundings. Remember, according to thermodynamics, we define universe as system plus surroundings. Now, let us discuss a simple example for understanding the concept of system and surrounding. For example, if we are studying a chemical reaction between the two reactants A and B in a beaker, at that time the reaction mixture of that two substances in the beaker is considered the system. That is that reactants are considered for the thermodynamic study. While the room where the beaker will kept, that room is a surrounding. Now we are going to discuss the types of system. As we know that we can classify the system into three categories. Open system, closed system, isolated system. But the question arises on what basis we are going to classify this system into these three categories that is open, closed or isolated system. First we have to know that thing. On what basis we can make this classification. Okay. So remember we can make this classification as open, closed or isolated system on the basis of nature of boundary. Boundary is nothing but the real or imaginary surface or part which separates out system from the surrounding. It is called as a boundary. On the nature of boundary, we are going to classify these three different types of system. Okay. Now, in this figure, there is an illustration of types of system is given. Here in a one particular beaker, a hot water is taken for the thermodynamic study. Okay. Now, if we kept a beaker in which hot water is there in a particular room at that time, there is an exchange of two things takes place. That is energy, that is the heat and the matter, that is the water vapor. That is, there is an exchange of two things energy as well as matter between this system and surrounding. So why this exchange of matter and energy takes place between system and surrounding? Because here the boundary we separate out system and surrounding. That boundary is open as well as uninsulated. 
due to open boundary the water vapor is exchange between system and surrounding while due to uninsulated boundary the energy is also transferred with the ball with the walls of beaker okay the so here in this system a the nature of boundary is open as well as uninsulated therefore the exchange of both energy and what matter will take place between the system and surrounding that system we call as a open system that is open system is nothing but the system in which the exchange of both energy and matter takes place between the system and surroundings it is called as a open system but remember why this exchange takes place because here the nature of the boundary is open and un uninsulated now let us discuss the another type that is the closed system in figure in this for system b we are taken again a hot water in a beaker now here as represented in this figure here the exchange of energy takes place between system and surrounding but there is no exchange of matter that is matter does not exchange between system and surrounding so why because here the nature of the boundary is here boundary is closed and uninsulated due to the closed boundary water vapor does not exchange between system and surrounding why here the boundary is uninsulated therefore heat can be transformed with the help of wall of the beaker therefore energy is transferred that is the system in which only exchange energy not matter that system we call as a closed system again remember here the nature of the boundary is boundary is closed and uninsulated now let us discuss for system c in system c there is no exchange of energy as well as matter why this is so because here in system c the nature of boundary is boundary is closed as well as insulated due to the closed boundary there is no exchange of matter while due to the insulated boundary again there is no possibility of exchange of energy between system and surrounding therefore the system in which there is no exchange of energy or matter between the system and surrounding that is called as a isolated system simple examples for all the three for system a that is the open system a hot water in a open beaker is the best example of open system or if we are enjoying in the morning a cup of hot tea it is the best example of the open system from hot tea vapors are continuously exchanged between system and surrounding as well as the walls of the cup are hot that is the exchange of energy takes place while if we are taken out this hot water in a closed beaker that is we close down the boundary at that time it is the example of closed system while for isolated system thermos flask is the best example in thermos flask there is no exchange of energy as well as matter takes place so these are the three types of system but remember again i will revise that part we can classify the system as open closed or isolated but we have to focus on on what basis we are going to classify this classification that is it is depends on nature of the boundary if the nature of the boundary is open and uninsulated it is a open system when the nature of the boundary is closed and uninsulated it is a closed system while in isolated system the nature of the boundary is closed and insulated it is all about from the types of system